Moin Leute, also hier seht ihr jetzt das Video von Robert Connors, die Aussage über den Tod von Tupac Shakur und Michael Jackson etc. Äh, haut mal in die Kommentare, was ihr davon haltet. Es ist wirklich Wahnsinn. Ich werde auch hier in die Beschreibung noch andere Links packen, die äh, das ein bisschen abrunden, noch bestätigen. Es ist wirklich krass. Guckt es euch an, bildet euch eure eigene Meinung und lasst euch nicht direkt von irgendwelchen offiziellen Medienaussagen blenden. Los geht's. For those of you that can see this video or hear this audio, I just wanted to to make you aware of what's going on. I feel if I disseminate this information, I may actually get a night's sleep. I'm showing my face and I will reveal my name for my own protection. So if something were to happen to me, you know it was not an accident. My name is Robert Connors and I have served with the Department of Defense for over 20 years. Prior to that, I served active duty campaigns in both Iran and Vietnam. I have served my country with honor and distinction. My record speaks for itself. As an ex-DOD operative, it was my duty to protect the Constitution and mitigate foreign and domestic threats in this country. I joined the department to create a, a safer world for my children and now grandchildren. Unfortunately, the last decade of my career, I have seen and been a part of one of the biggest threats to this great nation and its citizens. In March of 1994, I was brought in as Director of Communications for a project called Operation Sedgwick, formed under President Ronald Wilson Reagan in 1989 this program was the second stage in the project called MK Ultra. Its focus and sole purpose was the control of the African American population and urban youth through music. Yes, you heard me correctly, through music. I have in my possession a series of video and audio recordings detailing the existence of this project. My division was ordered to destroy all documentation and archive footage. I, in good conscience, could not. This is the information that the American public, along with the families involved, were told bold-faced lies about. From the first-degree murder of Lassane Parrish Crooks, also known as Tupac Shakur, to the evidence of influence of entities well beyond this federal government, beyond this world, will be revealed in these tapes. To my friends still at the department, please, I repeat, please join me. For the Bible says, whoever knows the right thing to do is, but fails to do it, for him it is sin. I can no longer live in sin. So, I am giving the Department of Defense until Monday, September 23rd to do the right thing and disclose this information. If they do not, I will release these tapes to the media outlets and into public domain via YouTube. And to show I'm not bluffing, I will release Michael Jackson's final phone call on the eve of his death. Mr. Jackson's phone was being tapped, and he is speaking of a government conspiracy to murder him. I know this video on this channel will probably be deleted, so I urge you, please save, download, and re-upload everything that I release for freedom of information's sake. God bless you. Thank you for listening and God bless you all. What's wrong, Michael? I don't know if I should tell you this, but I don't know who may be listening. 
They may be a group of people. The one that get rid of me. They don't want me here anymore. I don't understand. What do you mean? Talk to me. I can't talk about it. Over the phone. I don't know what's going to happen. But I just feel in my soul. Only God knows. Who could do this? Michael. 